Um, I'm going to start as usual with uh, going up to 7 in full, then putting 3 on gold and the landmark. Mm. This is Lipani, sometimes this happens with Lipani where the map uh, spawn isn't. It's a bit too close and your scout cannot really move around, but let's try to find some shield regardless. So, this is a matchup where the Ottoman player usually wants to play very aggressive. So, as I said, you always need to keep that in mind and. For the most part, the Ottoman player is going to mass archers, right? So I believe there's a lot of value in, in horsemen in this matchup as well as it. Uh, just because of the playability they give you in terms of sniping, constantly sniping units. Uh, both units that are running across the map and also villagers later on. It's not easy to kill Ottoman villagers because uh, they're usually really safe due to having uh, tons of food uh, from their landmark. But still, we, could, we will be able sooner or later to raid the wood lines, the gold, and so on and so forth. So overall, horsemen is, um, in general, mobility is something that you should be thinking about when playing uh, against this ship. So in terms of aging up, I'm going to go for the uh, military, military wing. Just because these units serve a double purpose in this matchup. First, they will help me defend against his spearman rush. And later they will allow me to put some pressure in, in, in the Ottoman space. Because the Ottoman is a bit slow in getting the first units out due to the investment in military schools. So I feel like this uh, wins a lot of value in this matchup. <coughs> so, yeah. Let's... Maybe... Maybe here is good enough. Uh, I could go on berries already, maybe I should have gone on berries earlier just so I avoided the uh, small idle time I had there. Usually that shouldn't ha be happening, but my scout was a bit, uh, let's say, annoyed by the map layout. I couldn't move properly, so I lost something here. So yeah, as said, this is, this is something to be expected again in this ship. I guess uh, the Ottoman player will more likely than not uh, always do this, right? So that's why the military school, the military wing, will give me tons of value because I feel like I can not only defend but also that later make some some pressure on his base, depending of course on where he has the gold and so on. But I I should be able to, to get something done. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on berries now, and my play is gonna be a second TC, but after the stable most likely. I I want to first uh, like. Uh, a horseman or two. Having the three kinds of units early has a lot of value. Uh, he didn't really expect this one, so he's probably losing one spearman. The second one, probably not, I, I would guess. So let's get the this as well. And now let's work towards uh, a second TC already. Mm -hmm. I should make sure I find his stone and his gold so I know where to harass. So he doesn't have uh, stone for the second military, right? So now this is a place where I can pressure and already make some make some damage to to his setup because he really wants to get the second military school as fast as possible. This is too far in the back, so I don't think I'm diving down there. I'm just gonna stay around here. Like this, both. Uh, it's important to check the resources, right? These are the two initial stones, so th being here, even though it may seem I'm doing nothing, is already annoying for him. Also, maybe I could work towards the Golden Age, uh, 7... Eight. Well, no, nah, I guess I will get it after the TC. Uh, let's check his production. Just by having the three kinds of units, it's really hard for him to counter my entire army. Like, let's say I didn't have horsemen, then he can just make archers and deal with this very easily. But one or two horsemen already make a huge difference there. Now, the fact that he's not even trying to gather stone is a bit uh, unusual. So, I'm starting to think that this may be uh, some kind of fast castle uh, strategy by my opponent. So, then let, I guess we can move to the gold now. Although, this is a bit scary going to the. Yeah, let, let's not do this. Let's go back. Uh, now that I've seen that many units, I, I'm gonna play it a bit more safe. 
So I feel like this already did uh, some damage to an extent as he need del delayed. Uh, it forced a lot of units, a lot of units that he had to pay for, right? Because as Ottomans you want to get free units. And also it delayed the second military school. So that's already something. Now the fact that he went for the three mums makes me believe that then it's maybe likely that he wants to all in me out of two bases. Like this could also sometimes mean a fast castle, but uh, I just don't have this feeling due to the amount of units he made already. Like you don't want to make that many units uh, when you're going playing fast castle. Um, now my golds are rather exposed, which is unusual. So let's get let's grab as much gold as I can now, because once he starts pressuring, it will be hard for me to. Maybe I can even wall here. Uh, given how the map has spawned, I feel like this small wall has tons of value. In terms of limiting the, the way my opponent can, can move in the map and put pressure on me and so on and so forth. This is something that happens uh, quite often in Lipani, not so much in other maps like Arabia for instance. So... Now let's check again. Now I would expect him to at least have 50 more stone. Okay, he hasn't. So he's just in one military school. This is um, really not common. Let's check, the, let's check the gold count, just to know whether he's going castle age or not. Mm, doesn't really look like it. So this looks, to me it looks like an all-in in, in Montesi. But with just out of one military school. So my goal is not to delay his attack as much as possible and to kill as many units as possible before the actual fighting happens. Oh, okay, never mind. He's trading. Yes, this is a really unusual style with this. Trip. But he's playing it. That's why you should uh, be constantly scouting. So now I have to, I have to be the one who's aggressive in this game. Not. Like I don't need to all in him immediately, but I need to keep in mind that that trade is an issue that I have to deal with. Right? No, his army is on the left now, so maybe I can try to find uh, some damage on his trade route by, by here. And then I'm just gonna... my, my army is going to be horsemen, horseman archer for the most part. Yeah, but this is an unusual game, as in it's usually the the Ottoman player that wants, wants, the one who wants to be aggressive. And you as the Abbasid are reacting. So this is an interesting approach by my opponent. Uh, let's see if I can kill that one. Uh, it's, it's a lot of gold if he has there, right? And with this, maybe I'm just going to steal. I managed to get the kill before they deliver, which is, of course, uh, amazing for me. Now, I wonder if I should go into Spearman, given the amount of uh, Sipai he has. Okay, let's be careful here. Let's not lose anything. Um, if I have, if I had my horsemen there, I think I could deal with this. So that was kind of a mistake from me. I had my rally point but way too, way too close to my to my base. Right? But maybe I can still kill all of these. Let's let's try. Uh, I saw a villager here. I can pull this board to the end. Can I? Like these units are already dead by me, but if I can get the, the whole cleanup, that, that's amazing, of course. So I gotta go for it before before his entire army is here. I'm 
mean, I'm still on 2 TC, so it's not the end of the world, but the fact that he's trading is, uh, is of course, always a bit worrisome. I... But I've managed to kill some traders so far. So it's his economy isn't that good. Nothing to be too worried about. Oh, yeah. And I think I'm going to go into spearmen rather than archers. Uh, horsemen. Horseman Spearman deals with, with his combo way better than Horse uh, Archer. Even though my archers have tons of HP, which is really good, uh, I still feel like there's more value into other kinds of combos. Maybe I can just go Castle H and, and be annoying with the horses meanwhile. I really feel that I really slow down his economy enough uh, to not to be too worried about this trade. Uh, those, are, those are quite some spearmen. Right? The question is, which wing do I go over? Let's not do that. I guess Lipan is a really good map for trading, right? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, this is... This can still be a two-base push, just with trade, right? That looks... Uh, that's a lot of armor. Uh, I, I gotta be careful that I don't die here. Because my a jump is not the fastest. Uh, this wall is going to be really good for me. And let's try to... I mean, his wall. Right, so it's not like I can do much with the horses, but... So I guess I'm going into... Uh, maybe a mix of knights and men at arms here. I think that could uh, be good if... I mean, not really, because I think he's going to age up as well. It's just that even though I slow down his economy, he's still uh, a trade going for quite a while. And it's a really good route in terms of uh, how much money it gives back. So. And there's more value in killing the 222. Okay, so kill three more. I wonder how does he have uh, 200 or so. I should have a market now so I could uh, balance my economy a bit, a bit better. I am missing some gold here. Oh, oh. Uh, let's not, let's not show him that. Let's move some words. So I need to to be doing something uh, about the trade right now. It's been going for a while already. He's already in Castle uh, This is starting to look a bit scary. Not gonna lie. Uh, 
if I can get rid of the spearmen, then my knights will be amazing, of course. Ottoman is not really one of the strongest ships in the late game. It's just that if he gets too ahead in terms of economy, then it can be really hard to... I think I can break this. He's not dealing too much damage to my knights with the archers. And now, now he kinda does, right? Because he got the archer. So, so let's stop. Mm, so I guess I need my own walls now. And I, but I really need to get to his trade, uh, or set up my own trade, one of the two, or, the, or I guess ideally the two of them, right? It's just that he's gotten tons of walls already, so it's not gonna be particularly easy to, to break through somewhere. I think his economy is better than mine now, so this fight is probably a, a good idea by me, as in he's only getting stronger from, from this point on for a while. Right? And it's mostly archers and I have tons of knights, so maybe I, I can trade here really well. Just gotta make sure I snipe the crossbows so my knights don't, do not die. He has some siege. I, I guess that's free siege from the landmark. But I think, I think we are dealing tons of damage here. Could have made a, a better job uh, killing those crossbows. Right? I really need to get to the trade though. Uh, I mean. Let's kill the thing now. Mango. Gotta be careful there. Uh, I believe he only has one military school so far. I think that was the Vizier, coin, the Vizier point, where only one spawn. Oh, so his route is going through here now, that's really good for me, so I can clean the, the traders. I need a bit more production. Uh, he has Minotaur, so I have to be careful to target properly with my archers the units that they can actually kill. Like, my knights are really good at main Minotaurs. But if I just attack move with my archers, they won't deal any damage, right? So, gotta focus a bit on that as well. Make sure I kill the crossbows. And maybe with the knights I can dive now, just to look for traders. Maybe even villagers is, is good enough as well. Just deal some economic damage. GG. So it was a bit unusual, the approach by my opponent, but I think this game shows... Um, like I shared the, the initial thought process in terms of what to do if the Ottoman goes for the for the early push. But also the importance of uh, constantly scouting, constantly adapting. Like if, if... Again, if I was just following a build order here and assuming a standard game, I would have lost this game, right? So it's really important, uh, I believe, more the thought, the thought process and... Reactive to things, keeping a, scouting your opponent, and knowing what to do against everything, and so on and so forth. Right. Let's check the economy. Uh, let's see. So he was a bit ahead on gold, but overall we managed to slow him down just enough, right?